So this is my nail polish collection. It's completely overwhelming, which is why I need to declutter it. I have it in the bottom of one of my Alex drawers, and I really want to narrow this down. I get gel manicures now, and I really love doing that. I don't have to fuss with painting my own nails, and I don't have to worry about them chipping because there's nothing worse than chipped nails. So I really don't paint my own nails all that often, so I thought I could narrow this collection down of just some good classic colors that I'll always want to have for when I do want to paint my own nails or my toes. A lot of these colors in here I've had for way too long. They're probably not even good anymore, and they're just not colors I'm into anymore. So let's dive in. A lot of them I know I'm gonna just grab and know I, I'm not gonna wanna keep like a lot of these. I'm not gonna go through and tell you each and every color, but I'm basically just gonna pull out the ones that I just wanna kinda get rid of at this point that I'm just, you know, not that into anymore. Neon orange, neon pink, this glitter one. This is a good one that I will keep. This is Zoya Low. I really like this one. Every brand in here, this is a really good light army green de bush from Essie. Keep that. Good Zoya Gray. This one's Carrie. Some of these are just so old. Glitter. Look at this bottle. Yikes. Get rid of these. I love this one. This is Bikini So Teeny from Essie. I'll keep that one. I have way too many nudes. <laughs> way, way too many. Mimosas for Mr. and Mrs. Royal Blue from Revlon. I have a lot of battle videos that I've done in the past. I'll link them down below so you can see because a lot of these I do have a ton of nude colors that I just... They all resemble each other in some form or another. So I will link that video down below so you can see all the nude colors that I have and so on and so forth. These are those little caviar beads. Taboo from Chanel, I'll keep that one. For Audrey, look at this bottle. Yikes. Lincoln Park at midnight. So I, uh, this one I do love, Black Pearl from Chanel. It's a good fall winter color. This one I always reach for and do my nails with and then I end up hating how it looks on. It's my private jet from OPI. Get rid of that. This is a very good color, Confetti by Orly. This was a hard color to find for a long time. I love this one by Nails Inc. This gel color in Porchester Square. In Stitches by Essie. This is a good neutral. And this is a deep cold bloat. Midnight Cami. No, thank you. I don't even know what this color is. Look at this. Oi, yikes. Indigo. These goalie colors. San Tropez. This color is settled. This is a good summer nude. Cold bloat. This one I like. This is a solid, no more film, solid blue. So I'm doing a maybe pile and a heck no pile, just so you know. And then I'll narrow it down from there. I have so many memories associated with a lot of these, like this color, Midnight Haze. I remember going everywhere trying to find it. It's like a slate gray blue. Over it. And all of these neons, I tried to get in search for this. This is my number one favorite neon, favorite color, favorite bright. This is Pink Parka. It was discontinued. I don't know why it's the best color ever. So all these neons that you're seeing, I purchased in an effort to try to find a dupe. I also have a video associated with that, so I'll post that below. I was able to find a dupe from a very affordable brand called Sinful Color, so I'll link that video, but I will be keeping Pink Parka. This is the dupe. This is 24-7 from Sinful Colors, and this is the dupe for Pink Parka. Although, on camera right now, they don't look like dupes at all, but they are. 
this black satin. This is one of my first ever high-end nail purchases. This is from Chanel. And I remember I got it after I saw Lauren Conrad talking about it in an interview in a magazine. <laughs> but this is a color I've used quite a bit of. There's barely anything left in this bottle. And it's just the, you know, shiny black. Ooh, one of my favorites. Smoking Hot from Essie. Love this color for in the fall. This is such a pretty color. It's like a Cinderella color. I think it was from the Cinderella collection. Best ball gown ever from Morgan Taylor. Just not a color I wear a lot or reach for. Oh my gosh. Katy Perry collection Teenage Dreams. Do you guys remember the hype with this nail polish? This glitter? I'm going to keep this one. This is a pretty accent nail color. Oh my gosh. So many of these have settled. This one was a hard one to find for a long time. This is uh, from the, oh no, not this one. This is not what I'm thinking. This is Sparkalicious. It's a glitter. This one was a hard one to find. Girly, but it was named something else from Revlon, I remember. This is a favorite. Lincoln Park After Dark. I'll always have this one. This is a pretty toe color for in the spring, summer. Makes you look really tan, Vandigo. I'm just not really that into it anymore. Essie Blanc. This white. Love this one. It's just insane how much nail polish is in here. Look at that. I love this. This is It's a Girl, and the funny story behind this one, it, I didn't know what Addie was, if it was a boy or a girl when I was pregnant. And a company sent me this one, which I kind of thought was hysterical. And she turned out to be a girl. So this is kind of nostalgic. I'll keep that one. This was one I swore was a dupe for Pink Parka. Lights from Essie, but it turned out to not be. Starbucks green. Love that. Bubble bath, which I feel like has changed. I got bubble bath on my nails when I had a gel manicure recently and it was way more pink than this and I actually prefer the pink to this color. These liquid sand colors, I never was crazy about the formula that I feel on your nails. I think this is a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. This is one of my favorite colors for fall. It's discontinued but it's ginger bells and I absolutely love it so I'll have this forever. This one was one that I searched for high and low. This is No More Weighty Katie. It was a color they did for Princess Kate, but I'm just not into it anymore. Mod About You needs to be shaken up a lot. Paradoxal Chanel. Oh, this one's a good one. Mink Muffs. Love that. This one's almost empty. Nouvelle Vague. This was a hyped Chanel one. Mermaid. Dreams from Deborah Lippman. This was pretty, but the texture once it's once it dries on your nails is kind of weird. It's another nude. It amazes me just how many of the same family or shade of colors that I held on to over the years because at the time I could justify why I have ten of the same colors, but now I just can't anymore. <laughs> I bought this one thinking it was Essie, a close to Essie Starry Starry Night, but it's not. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember this one by Milani, Dressmaker? This was supposedly a dupe for the Chanel one and MAC Peppermint Patty. This was a hard one to find too. Chanel, Riviera, nothing special. This one was a hard one to find. Mad as a Hatter from the Alice in Wonderland collection. This is a good multi-glitter. Another one by Zoya that I thought was a dupe for Essie's Starry Starry Night, but it's not. More hopeful pink parka dupes. Peppermint Patty. How old is this bottle of nail polish? <laughs> okay, we're almost done. Another old one from MAC. Bad Fairy. Oh, Metro Chic. Do you guys remember Metro Chic? I always think of Laura, Buy Now Blog Later, Lollipop 26 when I see this color. 
Glitter, glitter, glitter over the glitter. I don't have any yellows, but this looks like a color I want to paint my nails like right now. <laughs> this was another good nude from Milani Teddy Bear, or Bear to Wear, sorry. Some of these I'm pulling in my maybe pile because I want to compare it to other ones that I have. Probably not going to keep though. This one's pretty. Fairy lights. Another Deborah Lippman. Another one that looks like it's almost gone. Mac. Look at the Mac Hello Kitty. I used to really love this one. I might actually keep it. This one's from Mac Formidable. It's a really pretty like duochrome glitter. No, no, no. All Hail McQueen. This was another popular nude. At one point it's got like flex in it. How many reds do I need? So many nudes. Khaki greens. Oh, graphite. That one's pretty. I like that one. Base coats. Another nude. This is the one to matte everything. Little brown dress. Sephora glitter and a rose gold glitter. And then these are all Jamberry nail wraps, iron cocoa. I'll go through these at another point in time, but I do really like these. They're really easy to apply and good for a temporary. Probably gonna keep all of these. These are really good for like accent nails too. You just put on a couple. These are from and Coco. So, I like keep those. These are like, I have a lot of holiday themed ones too, like for Valentine's Day or Halloween. So I'm gonna probably keep those. This is just a white strip that I use for French, but I'm probably gonna get rid of this because I never do French on myself. So here is my maybe pile that I still need to dwindle down. Here's all the ones I'm gonna get rid of. Let's go through this one really quickly. So right away I'll just show you the ones that I know I'm gonna be keeping because they're just favorites of mine that I always wanna have. Confetti is one of them and I have two bottles of it. So I'm gonna keep confetti. Pink parka, like I said before, is a favorite, favorite, favorite. This is Jade is the New Black and it always makes me think of Starbucks but I love this color in the fall so I'm gonna hold on to that one. This is a fairly new bottle. This is the Nails Ink by Victoria Beckham in the shade Bamboo White. It's kind of like a milky pink and I really like this one. This uh, Ciate for Olivia Palermo and this is in the color Napa Valley and I love this berry color for fall. Lincoln Park After Dark, Porchester Square. Smokin' Hot by Essie, Mink Muffs by Essie, Black Pearl from Chanel. I have a bunch of base coats and top coats and I'll keep those. This is the one to matte out your nail color. Sticky base coat. This is by Posh. It's a top coat. This is a nail foundation by Butter London base coat. Essie, good to go. So I'm going to keep all of these. This is a solar oil. Um, this is Cake Pop from Orly, and honestly, it's not that different than Confetti, so I'm going to get rid of Cake Pop. Another Ridge Filler, Nail Envy, it's a good treatment for your nails. Okay, so then I have, oh, Bikini Sotini, definitely want to keep this one. Then I have like three of the same Cobalt colors, kind of insane. So Essie No More Film, Bobbi Brown Navy, and China Glaze Queen Bee. And I think I'm going to just keep Bobbi Brown's Navy because it's the truest to like a deep navy cobalt and then I'll get rid of the other ones. They're kind of identical. Same goes for reds. I just have too many reds. My favorite red has always been vodka and caviar, which is this one. This one's looking more pink. This one is Red Hot Rio. They kind of look the same. I like this one better. What is this? This is Red Hot Rio. So I'm going to keep this one. 
And then this X Factor one was a Sephora VIB Rouge. I got it for free. I'm going to just get rid of that. And I'm going to keep these two. This is Limited Addiction. And this one I love. This is um, Ignite. And it's kind of like an oxblood color. So it's more of a deeper red. And this one is more of a like purple red. So I'm going to keep those. So I'll be left with a true red and two deeper alternatives. As far as the glitters. Um, I'm definitely going to hold on to this one, Matt is a Hatter, from the Alice in Wonderland. It's a good accent color. Then I have three kind of rose goldy colors. This one from Butter London is called Rosie Lee. This one from Sephora is Traffic Stopper Copper. And this one from Essie is A Cut Above. So the glitter within them is kind of different. I'm not really feeling the Sephora one. It's They're kind of large pieces. I'm going to keep both of these just because this is more of a color and this is more of a accent glitter to go on top. So I could use them together or just use this as an accent glitter. And then this one is Teenage Dreams and I am going to keep it because it's a very pretty light pink glitter and I've always been a fan of this. Essie Blanc. This is a straight straight white, so I will always have a color like this in my collection. And as I told you, Ginger Bells is my favorite from OPI. Then I have two kind of khaki green colors. This one is the Dirty, or what is it called? Dry Martini from MAC. And this one is Armed and Ready from Essie. I'm going to keep the Essie one just because it's a little bit newer and I like the color. This one is just like very green and this one's more of like a khaki. So I'm going to keep the Essie. I held on to one orange one because I thought it would be a fun color for summer. And this one is Vermillionaire from Essie. This is the pink gel base coat or top coat. I'm going to hold on to that one. So minty greens, mint candy apple, absolutely sure, and debush. And then I have this find me an oasis, which is a blue. So I'm going to keep the blue because I don't have any other color like that. And this one, not really digging the shade. I'm going to keep mint candy apple. This one is more like a white green and it's a little bit too light. This is Low from Zoya, one of my favorites. I'm going to keep this yellow too. I think it's really fun for summer. This one I love. This is called In Stitches. It's a good neutral. And I also have this one from OPI called Gouda Gouda Two Shoes. This one has some shimmer in it. I'm going to keep the one without the shimmer and get rid of this one. This one. And this one is bruised from first day beauty it's a good fall pretty color have some grays this is like a good dove gray this is zoya carry this one's a really pretty mirrored kind of very shiny silver aluminum from zoya that i love as an accent it's called trixie and then this one is a deep gray cashmere bathrobe from e from essie and it has sparkle so i'm going to keep all three of these this color is pretty from OPI. This is Wooden Shoe Like to Know. Keep that one for full. This is a gel color in June Bride that I love and I sometimes bring this to the salon with me. So I'm going to hold on to that one. This one is Ballet Slippers. Doesn't really excite me like it used to so I'm not going to hold on to that one. Metro Chic. I'll always have this. Just nostalgic. This is Little Brown Dress but I'm really not crazy about it so I'm going to get rid of that. I'd rather have like a milk chocolate brown. Okay, the pinks. So we have It's a Girl, which I told you about. So I'm going to keep that one. Mod About You, which is my very favorite milky pink. And then I have Essie Fiji and Essie Romper Room. They look kind of identical. And I'm probably going to keep Romper Room just because Fiji is a pain in the butt to apply. Saint Tropez is a good nude for summer. This color is crinoline from Sally Hansen, but it kind of looks a lot like Romper Room, and I'm not going to keep them both, so get rid of that one. Okay, so then I have more glitters. This one is graphite from Chanel and Essie Beyond Cozy. They kind of look identical, so I will be keeping the Chanel and get rid of the Essie. These two kind of look similar. This is... 
Taboo from Chanel and then the Formidable from MAC. I'm gonna keep the Chanel. I'm gonna actually, this one's like a maroon purple. And this one has like blue duochrome. I'm gonna keep both of them. And if I don't end up using this in the fall, I'll get rid of it. This is a really pretty, very opaque glitter from China Glaze that I love for the holidays. It's called Champagne Kisses, so I am gonna keep that one. This one I held because I kind of liked it when I was pulling it, but now I'm not that crazy about it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is Elevation Generation from Orly. This is Neo Whimsical from Essie. This is a really good toe color. I get this a lot in the summer on my for my pedicures. And then Fairy Lights and All Hail McQueen. I'll keep both of these. I love these two colors. And this one, I wanted to see how it compared to Saint Tropez. This is Dare to Wear from Milani, and it's kind of like a taupey nude, and I've always loved this color, so I'm gonna hold on to it. So here's the finished product. Those are all my little nail wraps and base top coats, nail treatments. Those are all the colors I have left. I didn't really organize them by color or brand because now that my collection is a lot smaller, I can actually see everything. And then in that little bag is my nail files and tools. So I hope you guys enjoyed cleaning out my nail polish collection with me and kind of taking some trips down memory lane. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye. These were a really nice alternative for me this summer when I didn't want to wear flip flops but I didn't want to have my shoe, my foot in a shoe that would make my foot really sweaty. So that's where these came in. But even now, when